Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Backlist Readathon, day two. I am still editing my video of day one. I'm very sorry. It is 10:45 uh, in the morning, and I just kind of woke up because I was literally awake until 3:30 in the morning trying to get this video uploaded for you guys. But like, I just could not finish editing it. I've never had this problem before with having too much content to put into one vlog. I literally has so much content from yesterday. So I had to like pull some of it out because I'm not even finished and it's at 25 minutes. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. Like I know that most of the time we all have problems like making a daily vlog worth watching in like a five minute clip. You know, like it's like we only have five minutes of content. I literally am gonna have like 30 minutes of content and I still had way too much. I already pulled stuff out. That is my life right now. I am very tired from being up until 3.30 in the morning and not getting enough sleep. But I'm going to finish this now so it can upload. And while I was waiting for some clips to upload last night, I read more of the Bromance Book Club. So now I'm at 194 pages and I am so, so excited. So I'm going to finish this, let this upload, and then I'm going to read more of this. I'll get to move on to a different book. I'm not sure what I'm going to move on to, but I definitely need probably like 10 million more cups of this coffee. My milk frother is just so amazing. I just love steamed milk so much. It is 12.44. My video still has 38 minutes left before it's uploaded. While it's uploading, I am going to heat up some food really quick to eat, and then I'm going to knock out that book, so that way I can read that, because I feel like I have not done anything this morning, or actually, I feel like I haven't done anything in hours or all day, except for editing. Like, all I do is I just keep editing stuff. Um, I am just heating up, <laughs> these are some freezer meals that I specifically tried for a video over on my main channel, it's like Whole30 freezer meals. That video I have to edit today as well, but I had just put these in the fridge the other day because I couldn't eat them all, so I'm going to just reheat them up and eat them for lunch, and that's going to be my lunch for today, and then I'll cook later tonight um something i don't even know what i'm gonna cook but i'll cook something for dinner so that way when my husband comes home he'll have something to eat i finished the book so i am actually rating this five stars i loved this book so much and i'm so glad that gabby sent this to me because i probably wouldn't have picked it up if you guys hadn't recommended it to me and if gabby hadn't sent it to me because this book is so much more than like what it says on the back. On the back, it just makes it seem like it's just going to be just another one of those like smutty romances because of it talking about how like this guy's wife has faked like her orgasm throughout their whole marriage. And like, you know, I just, I don't really like just reading romance books where all they do is like have sex throughout the whole book or they just are mad at each other the whole book. You know, I'm not really like a hate to love type of girl. So, I really enjoyed this book. This is about a married couple who, yes, wife has been faking her orgasm, but that just means that there's like deeper issues within their marriage. And so uh, she wants to get a divorce and the and her husband spends like the whole entire book trying to actually fix the marriage. And I really like it because of the fact that he really is like working very hard for it. And he's really trying to like show how much he loves his wife and he's trying to listen to her and you know it's not just all about him it's really about her and he's trying to make it all about her and I really really like that and I love that they have twin little girls and it just shows a whole family dynamic of how it's not you know you just can't like do all these fancy gestures and you know make it all about yourself and so I really really like it because there's like there's some snarkiness it's not a hate to love because like they were already married, they already loved each other, but it's like, you know, they are being snippy at times because they are in fights or arguments. And so I really love that like playful banter because of them already being like a married couple in love. Loved that so much. It's so funny. All of Gavin's like friends that are in this bromance book club with him are really hilarious. Like he is a baseball player and he has these like baseball friends 
and he tells them about how his marriage is like crumbling and they're like dude we read romance books like that's how we like you know find out what our wives want in a marriage and stuff like that so they read all these like cheesy romance books and that's how Gavin like kind of learns like what to do. Now the fiction within fiction in this book I did pretty much just skim over even though I'm giving this book five stars like to me the fiction within fiction is not needed like there's only probably like 10 pages total within the whole book that has it but to me it was just like an unnecessary thing and I don't like reading fiction within fiction books anyway but I loved every single one of the characters I thought that this book was super relatable I loved that they were married I love their family I love the twins I I loved even Thea's sister. There was just so many amazing things happening within this book and I loved every single second of it and I am so glad that I have undercover bromance to read on NetGalley. So after this week is over, I'm definitely gonna pick that one up next because I really love the writing style of Lissa K. Adams. I feel like she could definitely be a favorite author of mine. Really, really enjoyed this book. So thank you, Gabby, for sending it to me and everyone for recommending it to me because I loved it. Like there was even like emotion in it. I just loved it. It was so great. It was like everything I wanted within a book. So that is amazing. My video just went live and it is 2.10, well, 2.12, I guess, technically. I think I'm going to pick another book to read. I'm not sure what I want to read next. I might start This Is How It Always Is, or I might see how long Sharp Objects is. Let's see the page count of Sharp Objects. Sharp Objects is only 254 pages. So I think I'm gonna read this for the shortest book on my TBR because those are the books that are like on my TBR and I looked at some of the ones that are like short but they were like still 300 pages. This I think I'm going to read now as my shortest book prompt because The Winter Girl, I think I'm totally just gonna unhaul it. Like I tried listening to it and I still haven't read those like bad reviews of it. Let me actually do that really quick. Yeah, it only has a 2.74 on Goodreads and seems like a lot of people are saying that it's unbelievable. There's no likable characters. There were few surprises or shocks. It looks like it's boring and there's a lot of like problems with it where like I guess a screen door got broken but then later on it's talking about them opening and closing the screen door. Um, I think I'm just gonna unhaul that book because, I don't know, there's a lot of one star reviews, like a lot. And I don't really feel like wasting my time on a one star review book. So I'm gonna unhaul that and sharp, I think I'm gonna start Sharp Objects because I've been really excited for it. And then I think I should also try and physically read this today. This is also only like 323 pages. But I do want to try and get into this um, because I couldn't listen to it. It was not a very good book for me to listen to. time getting into sharp objects I've been out here for like forever I don't know how long I've been out here but I was like on my phone and stuff and I kept having to put my phone down and like continue reading and I just can't get I'm 22 pages in and I just like I don't know the writing style just feels like one of those like law and order books or like police crime books like almost like how old thrillers were written and I mean this isn't when was this published it's not super old it's 2006 but like I don't know this just isn't you know how like if you've read no exit it's just like so easy flowing and like it's just so easy to get into and like this just like I don't know it's <laughs> I don't know how to explain it I really don't know but 
I honestly like I'm 22 pages in I have no clue really what's going on there's a bunch of different characters so I think I'm gonna give this more time because my boss really likes this book and I really wanted to read it like she's been asking me to read it for a while and the show is great and everything and so I do really want to try really hard with this one but I'm just really sad that it's not as easy to get into as I was hoping for it to be it's starting to get chilly outside now it was in like the high 60s today um, but now it's starting to get dark and stuff I think it's almost five o'clock probably in the background so this is from my friend missy and this is not a book i think this is a journal that she sent me wow this is like super nice 52 lists for happiness she sent this to me because i really i was talking to her about how i've been down recently and how i need to focus more on positivity and not just like all of the stressful things in my life like all the things that I have to do all the time um, So wow, this is actually really pretty and really beautiful So it says um, There's a bunch of different lists. It's like list what makes you happy right now List the routines in your personal life and work list the things that you are really good at list the things that get you out of your head Yeah, this is really awesome. I'm totally gonna start using this. I Really really like this so thank you, Missy, for sending this to me. I am very, very excited for this. Oh, that's right. I swapped for Long Bright River, which is huge. Really excited about this. Um, I don't know exactly when I'll pick this one up, but I saw this for swap and I decided to get it because everyone's been raving about it. I am excited now to put this on my TBR shelf. And yeah, so that was our book mail of the day very excited for these two things back in my car so i'm actually heading to the store really quick because i need to pick up half and half for alvin because i noticed we were going to be out of it and he drinks coffee every day i did finish dinner um it's just in the oven but the oven's off but unfortunately alvin said that he has a bunch of call outs at work so he has to stay until close because he was gonna leave at like 7 or 7.30. It's 7.13 right now. He's gonna have to stay until close, so he probably won't be home until like 9.30 or 10. So I'll probably just eat like one of the stuffed peppers later when I'm hungry by myself. I guess that means that I could like take a bath or something because I was gonna like take a bath tonight so I could read and relax but I didn't want to do that if like my husband was gonna be home because we hardly get to spend time together because uh, we work like all different shifts all the time oh well, I won't really I mean I'll, I'll see I'll see Alvin for a little bit because I don't I close tomorrow so I don't have to like wake up early and I'll probably be editing this vlog <laughs> let's be real still have like a couple hours to continue reading so i stopped reading sharp objects for now and i picked back up this is how it always is and i started reading the physical copy of that because as you guys know from yesterday 
I was listening, trying to listen to the audio and it was not going like well at all. But I'm 22 pages into This Is How It Always Is. It's definitely a lot better for me reading the physical book. So I think that's what I'm gonna continue reading tonight. I also would love to catch up. I think I'm two episodes behind on This Is Us which is crazy. I also think I'm two or three episodes behind with Good Girls. Those are like my shows that I watch religiously, but I just didn't watch them last week. I either forgot or I was too busy. So I almost want to do that, but I think I need to make myself hit a goal, like a page goal before I would get to watch one of my shows, which I'm gonna pick This Is Us first because I'm totally in that mood, especially after reading the Bromance Book Club. Like I'm totally in a This Is Us mood. I think what I need to do is after I'm done picking up half and half at the store, then I am going to read to the 100 page mark in This Is How It Always Is. And then once I get to 100 pages, then I can watch This Is Us and then I guess I'll edit this video. pages into this is how it always is i am actually loving the book now or i should say enjoying the book now i don't know what my rating is going to be yet because i still have like two-thirds of the book left i like it was really hard for me to get into at first the writing style is very different very hard to get into compared to what i'm normally used to but now that i kind of understand like the gist of how the writing style is i am now able to get more into the story and i can't like i'm i'm kind of emotionally invested now i'm definitely going to be finishing the book i'm hoping i can finish it tomorrow but because of the weird writing style it's taking me a lot longer to read compared to other books that I read. So I've been reading for the last couple hours and I'm only at 100 pages. I did talk to my husband for a bit um, when he came home. So that was probably like a good 30 to 45 minutes. Um, but still, it's taking me a lot longer. But I did not get to watch This Is Us yet, even though I did hit my goal of the 100, 100 page mark because I'm going to start editing this vlog because I don't want it to get too late like last night. I was up until 3.30. I do not want that to happen again tonight. So I'm going to start editing this vlog and then that way while it's uploading and i'm waiting for things to like load and stuff i'm going to watch some of this is us so that is my plan so that way i'm not wasting any time i don't really want to say too many of my thoughts yet for this book just because i don't know the whole picture yet but i do know that like i understand where a lot of different characters are coming from like it i'm not really like picking any sides within the book um it's just like, okay, so if you don't know what it's about, this five-year-old Claude wants to, he doesn't know if he wants to be a girl, but he wants to dress in, like, he wants to wear dresses. He is growing his hair out now. He did change his name to Poppy. He doesn't want, like, he's not saying that he's a girl. And the problem with that is that the school legally is asking the parents to like like he has to use like the nurse's restroom because he can't use the boys bathroom because he's a boy that wears a dress but he can't use the girls bathroom because he's not a girl and um yeah there's like a lot of different situations and so it's very heartbreaking to read about all of the people like in his life that are like you know he's five like they're being really mean about it um and so like i understand the legal point of it just because like i work in like food industry and like you know there's rules like for corporations and stuff like that and it's the same with it within a school um but then i also see like the parents side and you know he's a five-year-old and you know 
if he wants to wear dresses like let him wear a dress like my brothers i have six younger brothers and like there were four girls first my mom has 10 kids and so there were four of us girls first and then my first brother was born and you know we had all girl toys around like he played baby dolls with us he carried a baby doll around and like whatever he was three like it didn't actually you know like some people make too big of a deal out of that stuff and it's funny now because now he's a marine you know so it's like just because a little boy wants to do something doesn't mean anything and like that is what is kind of being talked about is like you don't want to like force your opinions onto a little kid and make them be afraid to tell you that they want to like wear a dress and like you know you, you some things you don't make a, as big of a deal about um but then there comes to a point in time where like you do want to make you know like what does he want what does you know you want to make sure that your child is happy and that is what the parents are trying to do is they're trying to just make claude happy which i do really appreciate so i'm very excited to read more of the book um just to see like where it's gonna go and so i'm really hoping to be able to finish a big portion of it tomorrow before work but that being said i'm going to end this vlog here i hope you guys had a great day with your readathon goals so let me know down in the comments like how many books you've finished so far or you know where you're at in your first book if you're still reading your first book that's okay i'm not judging that's usually me but yeah i hope you're really enjoying this readathon i'm actually really enjoying this readathon i think this is one of my favorite readathons i have done so far so i'm excited for tomorrow i go to work tomorrow so you guys will get to see all of my fun co-workers again i know you guys love that stuff i will see you guys very soon bye everyone